Welcome in. It's college basketball on CBS Sports Network as the Bulldogs of Fresno State play host to number 21 ranked San Diego State here at the Save Mart Center in Fresno, California, the Central Valley as we take a look at the starting lineups here for San Diego State. You've got Trammell, Butler, Bradley, Johnson, and Mensa. Very deep, talented squad. And for Fresno State, Hill and Baker have been averaging nearly 40 points a game this month. Joined by Colomario, Holland, and Andre at center. Jordan Kent alongside Tim Doyle and Mountain West basketball. Middle of the week, you never know what you're going to get. Fresno State has already knocked off a top 25 team here at the Save Mart Center this season. New Mexico came in at 14-0, and now they hope to do it again against San Diego State as the Aztecs get the tip. Bradley up top trying to go for the lob. Ball batted around. Aztecs recover. Johnson no good on the jumper. This is the Fresno State team that is second in the Mountain West in scoring defense. Doing just under 68 points per game. Andre loses it. Mensa thought about it, dumps it off, and an acrobatic finish for Johnson down low. Take a look at the coaches for both of these rosters. Some familiarity here. We've got San Diego State, led by Brian Dutcher in his sixth season with that impressive record at the helm. Spent nearly 19 seasons as an assistant at San Diego State, 10 years at Michigan. Johnson can't convert, but an offensive rebound kick out. Andre with the board. Yeah, I think he was laughing because the finish by Johnson was so unbelievable. It wasn't a dunk. It was going to the backwards, throw it over your head, not able to get the three-point play. Looked like one of the shots you hit to give me H today during shoot-around. It's true. You and I went at it today. For someone that said they can't shoot, as you see Justin Hudson there, former San Diego State assistant, two different stints. And he said no conversations this week with Brian Dutcher, but they did do some texting. Yes. So still we're communicating old friends and similar styles that they coached their team. Defense first. That's what the goal coach has said. They really have to chase the other team off the three-point line as that is swiped away. Excellent defense by Bradley. State team that loves to operate in the pick and roll. You've got size in all positions. Here's the Trammell, the lay-in, no good. Back come the Bulldogs. I think Andre got a piece of that one. Crowd still on its feet. They do not sit here in Fresno until the first bucket of the game for the Bulldogs. That's nearly two minutes of standing so far. He still tries to put the fans on their seats. Shot clock down to 10. Andre. One on one, trying to back things down, move some furniture. Too strong with the left. Inside position, and you see the help defense coming over by Fresno. Bradley, the long three, dials it in. Points are going to be at a premium here. Should have said that maybe at the start of the game. I'd be surprised if anyone breaks 75 in this spot. Two games last year against San Diego State, Fresno failed to break 50. In fact, but Fresno has held their opponents to under 70 points in 31 of the last 36 games. Hill, no good. The handoff into the paint, the floater. Here comes Baker. Hill, transition three. It's now three minutes here, Tim, without a bucket for Fresno State. Yeah, you can see some of the life alert necklaces starting to sit down a little bit throughout the stands. The steal by Andre. Andre in the open court. A couple of steps in the left handed throwdown. Well, if it was going to be a bucket, it had to be a big bucket. 
smell the Ben Gay being passed around throughout the stands here at the old Fresno Faithful. But they are on the board. Bradley missed a chippy there. Every bucket is going to be super important in this game, Jordan, as Fresno State comes into this game. They've won two of their last three. But it's just so hard to score against San Diego State, especially once they're going to get their defense set. Butler short on the jumper on that attempt. And that's the backdoor cut. Hill, the punt fake fundamentals paying off. That is one thing that I think teams can take advantage of, of that aggressiveness from Brian Dutcher's squad using that old school backdoor cut. Fresno State currently seventh in the Mountain West. This is a team. How about this stat? 11 of their 13 scholarship players have missed a combined 78 games this season. Good news for them, as we said, Baker and Hill shooting nearly 50% from the field in February. Here's Baker. Offensive rebound to Hill. So much of what San Diego State does is they really just get up in your face, and here is Tramel stealing the cookies. Really got two different steals on that one possession. Just batting the stats. Here's Andre trying to go to his left once again. Too strong off the glass, but crashing in. The offensive rebound is Colomario. San Diego State. Ranked in the top 25, there's a reason to stay up late in the Mountain West as they have won eight of their last nine games for Fresno State. Last time a ranked team was stepped in this building, they walked away with an L. Jordan Pennant simple, something's got to give. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is presented by Oregon. Here in the Central Valley, Fresno State playing host to San Diego State. Jordan Kent alongside Tim Boyle. And Tim, we talked about it. Buckets will be hard to come by in this game. A lot of defense, but let's get to your keys to the game tonight. Well, whenever you play San Diego State, you got to make shots because defensively they're so good. Talk to Justin Hudson, the head coach of Fresno State. I said, team, like Billy Bob and Varsity Blues, <laughs> is team a number? He said, 10's a number. We're going to have to make more than 10 as well as get some easy ones. As for San Diego State, that's basically their identity. Dominate the glass, defend the three. And one thing that Brian Dutcher has established here at San Diego State, and it's hard to do now in college basketball, he has a culture. He's got yes. guys that have been around the block. We've counted on this roster over four players who are 23 years old on this roster. Four in college. They have that veteran leadership. We asked him about the younger guys. How's that next crop of Aztecs coming along? He said they're going to be great. They're going to be special. They have bought in. Yeah, it was interesting to point out some of the guys on his roster. It was like a trainer looking at the two-year-olds getting ready for the Kentucky Derby. He goes, we got some, we got some horses ready to go. Baseline jumper for Baker is good. So Fresno State, after a little bit of a cold start, three of nine from the field, and it looks like they're going to force an early timeout for San Diego State. So they'll step aside, recalibrate, try to figure out how to break this press. Welcome back to Fresno. San Diego State with the one-point advantage over the Bulldogs. And taking a look here at Baker, this baseline jumper, and really a key piece of this offense here for Fresno State tonight. Oh, no doubt about it. He was really solid against Nevada. The game that they lost was a two-point game. Four minutes up for Fresno State. 17 points in that one. He's been wildly consistent down the stretch for Fresno State. As we said, one, two, and three, but even that lost in the battle, he's getting it right down to the wire. Donovan Yak, number zero, checking in for Fresno State. And Bulldogs lucky that Adam Seiko missed that three. He had six of them in that victory over UNLV in their last game. That's hard to come off the bench. Ice cold. And they're going to play for you to bang down a shot. Some of us had to do that for a living. At least come off the bench. Now, hitting the shot part a little bit different. The rope can't handle it. And that is a shot clock violation. And that is something that Coach Hudson said, we're going to defend every single second. We know we're going to have long possessions on that end of the floor. 
he was focused at shoot around today. Some would say angry, but he looked like he was locked in, and this game means a lot. But turnovers got to take care of the ball. Zeko forces the steal, gets his own miss, keeping the possession alive. Little jump pass to the corner. And that's going to be Micah Parrish stepping out of bounds. Micah Parrish steps out of bounds. This was a bit of a fear of San Diego State. They've played in so many meaningful games. You got a late night start, you got an arena that maybe is lacking a certain electricity right now, and the Fresno State credit, they've come out, they've defended extremely well, and San Diego State a bit flat. Trap in the corner. Yap trying to get out of it. And Yap is going to be whistled for a five second violation. So. And coaches all over the country and high school gyms also tell you you can't pick up the ball right there. That half court yeah, court. because why is that? You got three defenders, yep. right? And that was like a nightmare if you're a coach. It's like, oh, you don't want to end up there and playing right into San Diego State strengths. Fourth turnover of the game already for Fresno State. The D, the ball handling exposition, can't finish though. I would look for Baker here, set a ball screen, get him in some sort of action. That's when he is at his best. Jordan Campbell on the drive, the dish, the cut. Oh, met at the summit. How about the block by a rope? As you mentioned, Tim, both these teams, the DNA, definitely on the defensive side of the court. Seen it already on display. The D, the jumper, sticks it. And you asked him, Brian Dutcher, who's the glue of this team? And he had that answer right away. The D has been through a lot. He's had a lot of different injuries. He always sort of bounced back and tremendous frame on him and just does all the little things. Yeah, he described him as a monster. And I believe he got the workout plan from you, Tim, as Andre cuts back door and draws the foul against Ladee. I don't know about that. I'm doing a lot of heavy breathing, but check out the rejection here. I'm meeting at the apex there from a rope. Uh, buckets are going to be at a premium in this one. Like I said, it's a shocker if anyone gets 75 points. We get that down to 60 by the end of this one. But I expect a very close affair. Fresno State, last time they had a ranked team in this building, they knocked them off. Fresno State just three of ten from the field. Here's Hill, speed advantage. Campbell from outside, short, offensive rebound. Yeah, kick it back up top. Hill, being told he's all alone, getting to the left. How about the hands by a rope? He had a beat on that play, he and did. that was just excellent hands. Good catch here, Jordan, because Hill had gotten a step by him, but that's San Diego State. It's like everybody, they recruit that way. Guys that guard multiple positions. Here's Parrish, and he's met by Andre. Now, if you like defense, stay off play in the Mountain West. That should have been a turnover. That was, a, that was something there. <laughs> Then we have a foul whistle against Parrish. So it is a defensive battle, three point advantage for San Diego State. We step aside once again. Let's take a look at the AT&T 5G fast analysis. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Matt Bradley right here in the corner of your screen. What he's able to do so effectively is survey the defense on the catch. Shoot it right away. He goes, oh, okay, you're not going to get out and guard me? You realize I've scored over 2,000 points, and I've been in college since the Obama administration, okay? <laughs> Maybe you want to come out and get a hand out on me? On uh, the lefty, I talked to him before the game. I asked him who he patterned his game after. Surprised to hear his answer. Loved watching DeMarcus Cousins on the Sacramento Kings. Interesting. He's a huge Kings Not fan. Not have been my first guess. And then now he's, he's kind of morphed into more of a Clippers fan. Bob City, that was his squad. He's been so consistent and outstanding. Wonderful young man. I got a chance to spend a few minutes with him. 
but I, I was like, who does your name remind you of? Because he's so physical and so strong and left-handed. He goes, everybody I kind of patterned my game after was right-handed. But he said, working out against a guy like Peyton Pritchard, he really was able to steal a lot from the Celtics reserve former Oregon guy. Yep. Bradley played two years at Cal to begin his college career and was in the top five in the Pac-12 in scoring each of those seasons. And he said it scored over 2,100 points in his college career. And his coach is right with that bucket. Right now there's a bid on the bucket for Fresno State. They haven't scored in the last four minutes. They've had four turnovers over the last five minutes. But you got to feel pretty good because you're only down in possession. You know what I mean? This game hasn't gotten that far away from you, and that's the fear. If they fall behind by double digits, I'm not sure they can make up that deficit. They've held San Diego State to just 30% shooting as Mensa rips down the offensive rebound. Can't put it back. A lot of chippies missing the green here. The three in transition for Baker. It's Fresno State now 0 for 5 from outside. We talked about it in the open. Brian Dutcher, Justin Hudson, they know each other. They know their styles, they know their plays. And you get both these teams in the half court, it's going to be a tough time scoring when everybody knows your other moves so well. That is the chess match that will continue throughout the evening. It feels like both teams have been able to get the ball in the pain. It's just the help defense has been there so quickly. Here's the draw. Oh, wanted some punishment, but couldn't squeeze the orange as Holland nearly put everybody on a poster. And that is beat off the glass, but a goaltending violation. And so even when you get a chance, somebody's there to. It's so hard to get the ball to go in the rim. I mean, somewhere Dr. James Naismith in the peach basket are smiling. It's like after every hoop, they're going to poke it out of the hoop there. Um, San Diego State looks like defensively that they play with six guys. It's so hard. Here's Parrish, the floater, misses it. Can't get the follow-up as well. And again, Tim, I go back to a lot of these attempts are right at the rim. It just feels like they're off of that inch or two. Yeah, last out, San Diego State, it was all Aztecs as they romped UNLV. They were up 43-23 at halftime, held the running Rebels to no field goal. The last 8.45 of the first half of the game, honestly, was not competitive. And you know this, Tim. Fresno State, the longer they can hang into this and get this crowd behind them, the confidence they're going to have the further this game goes on if both teams are going stride for stride like they are. Bradley. Kicks a cross court. Johnson just ripped away by Holland. Now, who here, you can feel the crowd wants to get in this game. But easy for me to be sitting here with a dad bod and a minivan to say, go get a hoop against San Diego State. <laughs> you have a lot of pride about the minivan, though. That was the first thing you bragged to me about. 36 cup holders, yeah. <laughs> Andre trying to catch the lob. Andre with a chance, and he gets it to go. So Fresno State taking the one-point lead. San Diego State, as you see, they've been in a drought of nearly four minutes themselves. Here's Bradley trying to go to his left, quickly cut off by Campbell. Mensa knifing through the lane. Oh, the beautiful hook. I don't know why guys and ladies don't shoot that shot more. It's unguardable. Well, it sometimes doesn't look the prettiest in the world, but somebody made it pretty effective. Right up there with the underhand free throw. Here's Campbell, flurry of ball moves, gets it down to Andre. Andre met by two defenders. Whistle on the court looks like a three-second violation. And the hairs in the back of my neck stood up here because that was a little bit of my game right there. A little lefty hook, old school. Obviously made famous by Power, Power Memorial Center, UCLA Center, former NBA great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Just got passed by LeBron James, the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. But I have been surprised that no one has ripped it off and made it like Kareem. I mean, that was his signature shot. Don't you feel like Giannis would just be on guard pull even more so if he put that into his game? Jokic even? It 
screams that no one wants to do it. They need to come see you play pickup, that's why. Butler tries to bring in the three. San Diego State now one for five from outside, five of 18 for the game. I think it's just a, a move and we can finish the, this off. It just needs to be in your bag. I'm not saying it has to be like Kareem, but it's gotta be in your bag. Andre stepping through, going under with the left. Andre has really impressed me with his hands. He has caught every ball near him, and I think that as he's a work in progress down low, but yeah, throw a little jump hook in your bag. He got to his left hand pretty well. He's had some really effective minutes here. Andre, the leading scorer in this game with six points, three of five from the field. Bradley spinning, trying to step through. The fadeaway jumper, a tough bucket. Good patience there. We talked about his patience in the ATT Fast and Alex assist. Turnover. That's turnover number seven for Fresno State. Bradley again trying to cook. Can't serve that one up. Yeah, talking to Coach Dutcher, he said, of all the guys on our team, Bradley is the one that can certainly score off the dribble and break things down if the offense is starting to get a little too stagnant. Bradley tried to poke this one away. In the open court, up top lob, but can't complete it. And now a numbers advantage for Fresno State. Baker, cross court. Here's Hill for three. Got it. A five-point swing on the missed alley-oop, and Fresno State capitalizes. Mensa. Good looking jumper in the paint, ties it up at 15 apiece. Well, there was some great passing there. First of all, Bradley's alley-oop was right on the mark, and then with numbers, they knew who to find. Great skip pass to Hill across the court. Mensa, he did not have that in his bag when he came to school here. Soft touch, gonna stop the bleeding for San Diego State. Hill to Andre, another nice catch and an even better finish. Wait, Tim, you said the mitts on Andre. These passes that he's catching in the two-man game, a lot harder than it looks like. Mensa slips, and then Johnson crumbled to the floor. Well, I hope you are staying up late tonight in the Mountain West, where it seems like a conference where any team can beat any team. Jordan, I'm excited. It's college basketball on CBS Sports Network. Presented by Orgay. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Orgay. Good, clean nutrition. By Kid Cat. Have a break. Have a Kid Cat. And by. Into a TurboTax. Don't do your taxes. Let our experts do them for you. A couple of shots of Justin Hudson throughout his career as he now finds himself in his fifth season at Fresno State and had two different stints as an assistant coach at San Diego State from 2006 to 2011 and then most recently up until 2018 and then hired as the Fresno State head coach on April 5th, 2018 as a 78-68 record here, Tim with two seasons with 20 plus wins including 23 wins last year and they won the first iteration of the basketball classic in the spring they coached the, the great orlando robinson who's now on a two-way with the miami heat he's gonna have a long prolonged nba career who's an offensive force to see matt bradley there on the bench and we've counted san diego state as me missed at least three or four point blank range and has allowed Fresno State to believe in themselves. What's been interesting also, Tim, is we've seen very physical defense. That was just the second free throw shot this entire half. No blood, no foul, right? Hey, these two squads. They just let him roll it back up top and check it. To the deeper rosters, they will go eight and nine guys deep throughout the game. And that allows them to keep those fresh bodies on the floor. Because you played with guys that try to save some energy on the defensive side of the floor. That's not a philosophy that's going to fly for either one of these teams. No, I think the biggest thing for Fresno to stay in this game 
got to take care of the ball. Already eight turnovers. So if they're going to have any chance, they can't let that turnover number get to 15 or above. We also saw that tombstone graphic, a seven rebound advantage for Fresno State. It's the San Diego State team that is top 30 in the nation when it comes to rebounding margin, but another turnover, this time is unforced. Yeah, and, and that backdoor cut was open. We saw that earlier in the game, and I think that's something that other teams can look at when you play San Diego State, you see the ninth turnover. And you gotta take advantage of that. When someone's being aggressive like that, you use that aggressiveness against them, either driving at them north or south, or cutting back door. And the steal in the backcourt, so the press has been paying dividends for Fresno State. Holland kicks it around. San Diego State quickly recovers. A good cut there by Hill. Oaked away, and Trammell with another steal in the open floor. So now 10 turnovers for Fresno State. We still have four and a half minutes left in the first half. A rope trying to spin some with a little English down low, and there's going to be a foul on the floor. We'll see which way this goes. Looks like an offensive foul against San Diego State. Yeah, you see right there, you got... Ladie was just extending that arm, but when you kind of extend that out, it's a really easy call for the officials. You know, 10 turnovers. I had a coach, he goes, we're better off, we're just shooting half-court shots. Maybe the half-court shot goes in, maybe we get the offensive rebound, but when you have just an empty possession, nothing positive comes out of that. Right now, Fresno State shooting 42%. They put the clamps on the Aztecs, who are just at 31%. Campbell racing through the paint. Ball moving around quickly here in the half court. Hill up top. Baker long three. We saw Mensa kind of clear some airspace right there after the rebound. A rope trying to get down the floor, and then another offensive foul as he knocks Baker to the floor. So the Bulldogs with some bark here in the first half against San Diego State. They've got it tied up. 17-17 here in the Central Valley. This was pre-game, Leo Colomario. First try, string music from half court and with 10 turnovers. You heard that coach say it might be better to shoot half quarters, but let's take a look at tonight's Intuit TurboTax player profile. Isaiah Hill, look, look at the numbers, especially over the last three games here, Tim. Yeah, he had 22 big points against UNLV. Fresno State swept the run Rebels, and I got to see them earlier in the year. I think UNLV is a really balanced, tough squad. The transfer from Tulsa leads the team in assist against Nevada, bang down four threes. I think that's going to end up being the X factor in this game. As buckets are at a premium, can somebody string together two, three, four made threes? Because getting in the paint, trying to score at the rim, really difficult to do. I know that's where a majority of the points have happened here in the paint for both of these squads have scored 12 to their 17 in the paint. But who actually, Jordan, could make some perimeter shots? That's the thing, neither team shooting the ball well from outside. San Diego State just one for five. Fresno State one for seven from beyond the arc. This Mountain West Conference, it is deep. There is parity this year. You've got Utah State and San Diego State. The Aztecs getting a two-point victory on the road. And San Jose State handling Utah State as Campbell gets the floater to drop. And yet Fresno State beat San Jose State the other day. So any given night, you can take that L, as they say. A three from outside, and Parrish buries it, and then a nice little stare to the front row here. Yeah, Parrish is shooting nearly 40% from three, and half of his made field goals this year have been threes. We have a scoring explosion here. I don't know why it is, but when lefties make jumpers, it just looks better. It just looks so smooth. And are you a lefty? I was a lefty. Wait, 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 wait. I converted you changed which hand you shot with. Correct, like Tristan Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> so is that who you modeled your game after? I, I didn't model anything after <laughs> Tristan Thompson. Here's Campbell, a three off the back heel. Hill goes up to catch it and gets knocked to the ground afterwards. A little pass interference. 
That's going to be the seventh foul on San Diego State, so a chance for Fresno State. Take the lead. Hill goes to the free throw line where he's nearly 80% on the air. Foul against a rope, and that is his second. So a D and a rope, each with two fouls for San Diego State. Fresno State has just committed two fouls this entire half. Hill hits the first. Adam Zucker, Shelvin Mack, John Rothstein, and Gary Parrish are standing by in our New York studio. They'll get you caught up to speed on today's college basketball action. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Hill gets them both. Hill up to seven points on the night. Still a one-point lead for Fresno State. Under three minutes left here in the first half. Trammell up top. Mensa can't catch it. Second missed lob of the night for San Diego State. You could just see Fresno State's confidence growing. The biggest thing is they just got to hold on to basketball. To your point, you see the sharp cuts and just no indecisiveness whatsoever. Hill tries to get it over to Andre. Andre dislodged with three on the shot clock. Fresno State ball. How many missed dunks do you think we've seen in this game? More than either team would like to have yeah, in a game. I'll tell you that much. You talked about the two missed alley-oops. Tremel's wishing he would have shot that ball. Three on the shot clock here, so kind of run some quick action. Quick handoff. The fadeaway corner jumper. Hill knocked to the floor, but able to get it in. Now, if you're San Diego State, you're wondering if it's number 20's time to get the ball. There is Bradley on that high post trying to post up. Trammell picks up his dribble. There's Mensa trying to back down Andre. Parrish flashes open his three. That's off, tapped alive. Kick down the floor. Here's Hill picking some cherries. He gets it to drop. Five point lead for Fresno State, largest of the game. Bradley up top trying to navigate the screen with Mensa. Parrish, again, another triple. Gets it to roll. Yeah, if you're Fresno State and the guy's made half the shots or threes, you don't help off him. So great job by Bradley baiting in the defense, but you got to know scouting report. That's what Parrish does. Second three of the game for Micah Parrish. Now under a minute left. Here's Andre. Sees the double team. Bit of a gamble by Trammell. Fresno State can't convert. Bradley, a full head of steam, trying to go through with the left. That is blocked and then deflected off of Bradley. The intensity from Fresno State, the defense has just been sensational here. Bradley's able to get to a strong hand, but there's one, there's two, and certainly off that left wrist to Bradley. Great job not fouling on an aggressive guy who likes to drive and get to that power hand. Five combined blocks between these two teams, 10 combined steals all in the first half. Well, now if you're Fresno State, I know there's three second shot clock difference here, but you gotta take this shot at an opportunity where San Diego State's not gonna have an opportunity to score. So you wanna run this down to as low as possible. Hill with tasked with the perfect timing on this possession. Here is Yap up top. Four on the shot clock. Yap gonna have to do something with it here soon. Step back jumper that is blocked. San Diego State with just a few seconds. The clock stopped though at 1.8. See if the officials try to sort anything out. They're gonna just let it go to halftime here. Yeah, I think that Fresno State caught a break that they could have easily been a shot clock violation instead Justin Hudson. He's got a squad that's up two. They're at home. 
and he's got to be thrilled going to the locker room. Well, that's the end of the first half with the score, 25 to 23, Fresno State. After the break, we'll send you to Adam and the gang in New York. But before we do that, here's the replay. Tim, what do you see? Yeah, I mean, the shot clock went zero ball to hit the rim. It should have been three seconds plus for San Diego State with an opportunity to score, but it's called home cooking in the Mountain West. So as we said, Fresno State with the two-point advantage. Fresno State 6-2 and two this year when leading at the half. So we'll see if they can go the distance. As we said, Adam and the gang in New York with AT&T at the half. College basketball, CBS Sports Network, presented by Orgay. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is presented by Orgain and a couple of hot dogs running their buns off at halftime as Fresno State hanging on to a two-point advantage here in the Central Valley. Welcome in Jordan Ken alongside Tim Doyle and Tim, you said it before this game started, a defensive battle. What is Fresno State doing so well against the top ranked team in the Mountain West? Well, first of all, we all know it's mustard and mustard only on hot dogs, okay? <laughs> I feel bad for those ketchup people out there. But Fresno State, they have come out with a ton of energy in this game. And last time they had a ranked team on this home floor, they actually knocked them off in New Mexico. Guado Andre has been sensational in this game, playing physical on defense. And what I've been most impressed with, Jordan, Check out the hands. Watch these catches in the post. He's able to gather himself and finish. Eight points and effective four or six in the field. It's been low scoring. It has not necessarily been pretty. But if Fresno State was going to be competitive in this game, this was the pace they needed to play at. Yeah, time now for the first half stats brought to you by Oregon. And the biggest thing that stands out is the rebounding differential. Don't forget, San Diego State came into this game plus five every game, number 31 in the nation. Fresno State with a nine rebound advantage over San Diego State in the first half. Oh, you heard Shelvin Mack at halftime. Shelvin, don't be upset. He said he was upset. It was upsetting <laughs> to watch San Diego State. And then Gary Parrish topped it off. What would really be upsetting for Brian Dutcher is lose this game. This would be their first quad three loss. So protecting their resume, Matt Bradley, only five points. This has been a physical game. There has not been a ton of free throw shot. Only five total. Refs are letting these guys play, so expect a dog fight here in the second half. And even for Fresno State, they have this lead despite 10 turnovers in the first half. So you wonder if they can be more efficient with their possessions. And for San Diego State, they just missed a tremendous amount of layups in the paint. Well, they got to take care of the basketball. 10 turnovers for Fresno State can't have empty possessions. And as you said it, an empty possession right there. The steal, Butler going coast to coast, gets it to drop. So a quick strike from the Aztecs has tied this up at 25 apiece. By the way, everyone on their feet again for first bucket of the second half. They stood in the first half, if you're just joining us, for over three minutes. I think everybody in this arena hopes they don't have to stand for that long again. A little bit harder to do in the second half. Here's Hill curling for the three. As Johnson rips it down. Bradley with only five shot attempts in the first half. So you imagine they'll try to get him a little bit more involved here in the second. Bradley trying to feed it down low. Nice catch by Mensa. Foul as he goes up. And we talked about the home key for Fresno State in this game is taking care of the basketball. They are a turnover on their first possession, and this is an acrobatic finish. Tough to let the rest of the guys play. In some games, that's a foul. Tonight, it's not a foul. At least they've been consistent. Mensa goes to the free throw line. With a nice lefty hook in the first half. He banged down a little mid range. A couple of lefties in the starting lineup for San Diego State. I think the key for Fresno State is they cannot fall too far in the hole. They don't have that explosive offense dead last in the Mountain West in scoring, so they've been able to keep this game always within that one or two possession type. Mensa splits a pair, brings them up to five for the game. We've seen both teams very effective with this full court press. Here's Calamario trying to initiate the offense. Baseline drive by Holland. 
Hill will reset it up top. The Bulldogs have been very patient in their half-court offense. You see the positioning down low. Baker finally gets it. Shot clock at three. Fade away jumper in and out. But an offensive rebound for Andre, who puts it right back in. He's been great in this game. He has been the MVP of this game on both ends of the floor. And another use of fantastic hands to corral that rebound. Andre averaging seven points a game on the season. He's the second Bulldog in double figures tonight with 10. Butler stop and pop, well short. Baker just one of six in the first half, hoping to get going after averaging 18 points a game this month. Hill, catch and shoot, Trey. Another rebound, Baker will get his chance. call a defensive foul against Hill as it was Butler once again screaming down the floor. Yeah, check out Andre there. See, him, he got position before that shot was even on the rim and that allowed him to get the offensive rebound. His left hand has been wildly effective in this game. Now, I think a change in evolution in, in basketball at the high school and college level is the continuation. I think it makes it more exciting. I think when you, that, like this call was on the floor there, but I would like to see basketball evolve into continuation. And a silencer from the corner as Johnson strokes the three. And now San Diego State up two. And only seven of 31 on three points. Open court steal, and then Johnson quickly fouled by Hill. So we've seen Fresno State struggle to break this press at times. And we talked about See Bradley, he's able to beat in the defense. Now that, that is a guy you want to help off of. And then on the flip side, there's the steal. Hill's able to foul. No continuation there, no free throws, no points. So on the floor. When we spoke with Coach Dutcher, and he gave us one word for player. He said energy for Johnson, and there it was, epitomized. Hits the three, gets the steal. Another possession for the Aztecs. Trammell trying to weave his way through the defense. That's short. This game has been played within one possession, Jordan, almost the entire game. That's what you're hoping for, whether you're a fan of either side or just a fan of college basketball. Those tensious, late in the regular season conference games. I feel like a, a six-point lead in this game may be insurmountable. <laughs> Fresno State had a five-point lead once in the first half, but that was quickly erased. And Baker still struggling to get anything in the oven here. He's now one for eight. Bradley again off the bounce, elevating. Batted around, and that's going to be knocked out of bounds. Fresno State ball. Donovan you got hands, you got active hands everywhere. You see Mensa got that last. That's a shot that Bradley normally would make eight out of 10 times. Great patience to get to his spot, just not able to convert. Interesting note when talking to Coach Dutcher, he said, we can't do it all in the half court tonight. We've got to get points in the transition and second chance points. So far tonight, just two total points off of second chance points and transition buckets for San Diego State. Here's Andre again, excellent block by Menza. And then the foul by Andre compounds it. As Andre picks up his first of the game. So we'll step aside, Fresno State still going stride for stride with the top ranked team in the Mountain West Conference of San Diego State. Trying to keep the pesky Bulldogs at bay. The Aztecs are back on our air same time Tuesday night as they take on the Colorado State Rams. Tip-off begins at 11 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Speaking of Colorado State, how about Isaiah Stevens? You were raving about him earlier today and just how electric of a scorer he continues to be. Well, he basically won the game single-handedly, and Colorado State knocked off 
UNLV, one of the best games this year in Mountain West Conference season. He is dynamic, and with no more David Rowdy, he has become the primary option for Nico Medved. And with Boise State winning tonight, you see why there's so much gravity on this game. If Fresno State pulls off the upset, you've got a three-way tie for first in the Mountain West Conference. And Fresno State trying to stay within striking distance of New Mexico and San Jose State. And it's interesting here, Tim, a lot of the turnaround job you've seen for some of these coaches in the conference, whether it's their second year or their fifth year, they've really built a lot of these programs back up to prominence. Well, Tim Miles has just done a remarkable job at San Jose State. They are a threat every single night to knock off literally any team in the Mountain West, including the top teams. And they had a big win the other evening against Utah State. Here's Bradley, step back jumper, rolls out. Mensa with the offensive rebound, and there's that hook shot again, Tim. Yeah, more of a jump hook there, but him and Andre have been going at it. Trading left-handed jabs in this one. Now it's a four-point lead for San Diego State. Colomario. And bodies go back and forth. Mensa still down on the floor. Bradley transition three. And Mensa still in a prone position. And it will stop play here at this moment as the training staff comes over to take a look at him. One more look. I'm not great at watching that. You see, it was kind of an awkward fall, and he grabbed the, the leg area. Keep an eye on that foot, and then the left leg he goes to grab his knee, but right now, looks like he's going to be escorted to the bench. We'll keep you updated if we hear anything, but obviously, that's a big loss for San Diego State, however temporary it might be for Nathan Mensa, the senior. You know, that ended up being a pretty big shot that Bradley missed there because opportunity to go up seven, momentum was really swinging their way. Fresno State, they need a bucket, they need one bad because separation is going to be a problem for them because they just do not have much firepower on the offensive end. No, Fresno State, oh, for their last five, a scoring drought of over three minutes now. It's going to be Yap trying to direct some traffic. Tries to work that two-man game with Andre. And Yap, too strong off the glass. It really feels like San Diego State has taken away some of those easy rolls that Andre was getting in the first half. Yeah, well said. He, he was great in the first half. Amazing catches. They made some adjustments sticking with him and making other guys make shots. That's going to be an offensive foul against San Diego State. And... Brian Dutcher does not agree with that call as the ball back to Fresno State. Oh, good acting there on the sidelines. So you see Brian Dutcher getting into it. Yeah, I, I think those two guys fighting for position, but you know, there is an emphasis above the shoulders. Yep. You hit someone in the chin area, kind of makes it an easier call for the officials. I asked Brian Dutcher, do you think he would eventually be in this spot in his career. He goes, I think I have to wait this long to be a head coach. <laughs> Yap with the bucket, but going back to Dutcher, an assistant for 28 years, following in the footsteps of Steve Fisher. So that is a patient, dedicated man. Of course, part of that 1989 national title with Michigan. Instrumental in forming the Fab Five. Colomario almost had an easy steal. They're going to rule that in favor of Fresno State because it goes through the wickets of Bradley. Yeah, it's pretty interesting because Calamario and Bradley were high school teammates in Utah. I think they're going to have a chuckle about that. <laughs> Maybe post game. It's been a really solid crowd out here at Fresno. Maybe some iPods going out to some of the fans. Yeah, the students section actually. They're giving some AirPods. Okay. Every five minutes. Listen, you might have an iPod with the dial still, but uh, kids nowadays like to go with the wireless stuff. A little bit of technology for you. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Fresno State trying to tie it or take the lead. Yap can't get the three to fall. And that is something to keep an eye on as we have a foul on the floor. It looks like they're going to whistle this against Andre. They're going to ask for a review here. Let's take a look at something else. I saw a couple of Aztecs go crashing to the floor.
I mean, there was no foul on Andre, and I thought he got too close to comfort with the official. I mean, he really got, like, in his space, and I, I think he's got a case here, don't you? He might. It looked like it was friendly fire, more so in this fall as we take another look. Kind of pokes at it to strip it loose, but the whistle came in at this point, and that was a rope tripping over Butler on the ground. sorted out here. Stays a common foul on Andre, so his second foul is he has 10 points. But you talked about missed opportunities because of the three-point shooting. Fresno State, one for 15 for 7% tonight. Do you remember my keys to the game, how many I said they had to make? They had to hit 10. They're not on pace for that right they now. They are not on pace, unless they shoot 150, <laughs> which I think is unlikely. Still just a two-point game, though, despite the three-point shooting and the 12 turnovers for Fresno State. Ladi just off target. San Diego State hustling back on defense. Here's Yap, nearly had the angle, but lost his footing. Still haven't found that rhythm in the half-court offense as Fresno State in the second half. Holland, catch and shoot three. I'll tell you what, a three-pointer might be harder to come by than a rental car in Fresno. You've got that agriculture convention in town, and I think when we both landed, we didn't get a rental car. What conventions in town? I think it was an agriculture convention. Oh, I thought what somebody told me. I thought it was an ad convention. You know, I only have one, one of the two. I only have one good ear. So I, um, I used to always just say, oh, yeah, yeah. But now, as I'm getting older, it's going to be more of an issue. Yeah, they gave me a minivan, which, you know, I was <laughs> thrilled about that. <laughs> oh, you're right at home, as you said. Exactly. You love driving it, so... Fighting for positioning down low is Ladie. Goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Andre, who has two fouls. Tries to shoot over the peak. No good. This is going to be poked ahead. Campbell trying to chase it down. It gets tripped up by the baseline. But again, the hustle. And you played football on a high level. Should he have tried to dribble this or catch it? Watch what he does. Let's see what he does here. So pokes it away. I think at this point, you've got to do everything you can to secure the orange, squeeze it, and try and either leap out of bounds for a timeout or get it for a teammate. He kind of whiffed on it yeah. trying to dribble it. That's hard to dribble that on the run off balance. Kind of like chasing down a fumble here. A rope thought about it. Crowd would have loved to have seen that. Well, the two-man game with Ladie trying to lose. Yap. Yeah. Here's Ladie down low. Can't shot put it in. I thought he got fouled there. Brian Dutcher pleading for a foul there. It's hard to get a call in this game because both teams are playing extremely physical on the offense on the defensive end. It has been consistent, you can say that. Fresno State now one for their last nine. Campbell steps into a three. Bulldogs now one for 17 from outside. Here's Trammell, almost lost his footing. And a foul off the ball. Whistled against Fresno State. There are bodies everywhere, hands everywhere, loose balls, turnovers. If you like defense, I'm happy you are staying up late. San Diego State's in a dogfight in the Mountain West. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. And everything's better in slow motion, I'll tell you that much, as the crowd's starting to come alive here in Fresno. And Brian Dutcher, this game's starting to get a little bit more physical. You've seen a few more fouls called. That was the third foul on Eduardo Andres. So something to keep an eye on. He's been pivotal 
with the Fresno State defense. You see, obviously, the three-point shooting has been the biggest Achilles heel for the Bulldogs tonight. So what do you tell your squad? I would tell them stop shooting threes. Maybe we gotta get paint touches. But Justin Hudson was pretty honest. With both of us at shoot around today when I asked him, do you know how many threes you have to make in this game? And what did he say? He said 10. But are you of the thought that it, it can't get much worse than this from outside? You eventually, by just sheer probability, have to start hitting threes. The last couple of attempts have not been close. So I would try to mix in a two. It's just like anything else, right? When you're struggling, you want to get as close to the basket, get to the free throw line. You want to build some confidence. So four-point advantage for San Diego State as Ladie hits both free throws. And now we're going to stop play here for a second, try to sort out an issue on the court, maybe a clock issue. And Jamal Baker has to get going as well. Came into this game, their leading score, He's taking eight shots. So I mean, one of them is 0 of 6 from 3. So check out. And that was the issue. Shot clock started at 20. So check out Baker, who's had multiple stops along the way. He must get going here. 24 year old. Hope Kentucky reached the Elite Eight back in 2019. Also spent some time at Arizona, but as you said, 0 for 6 from 3. He and Hill combined 1 for 12. Just two points for Baker on one of eight shooting. Five to shoot for the Bulldogs. Here's Campbell trying to work some magic, and that is just stripped clean. Baker can't get it up in time. So the offensive woes courtesy this suffocating San Diego State defense continue. Well, there was two different games last year that Fresno State failed to break 50 against San Diego State. I think 50 wins it. Maybe they just call this game if one of these teams gets to 50. <laughs> what is that, the new NBA All-Star game scoring format in the fourth quarter? And by the way, I love it. Yeah. Game-winning shot every game. And I think you're headed there here soon, aren't you? I will be in Salt Lake City, yes, and I, I, I'm all about the Elam ending. Don't get me started there. I think it's a great evolution of basketball. Every game, game-winning shot, not the foul stuff. Here's Parrish trying to navigate two defenders. Can't get it to the cup. Campbell nearly off to the races, but mishandles it, so another possession for San Diego State. Seiko, no good. Johnson, offensive rebound, in and out, and a foul. Give us a stop here. It looks like that's going to be whistled against Johnson. So Fresno State will take possession when we come back. So it's getting slow. It's getting choppy. It's getting physical. But the Aztecs still on top by four. Seven Eastern, we're back with another Hoops triple header as number 25 FAU looks for a road win against Middle Tennessee, followed by double the West Coast Conference play between Santa Clara and BYU. Then the 13th ranked Zags face Loyola Marymount right here on CBS Sports Network. Back on January 19th, the LMU Lions made history. How about Cam Shelton? He went off at 27 points while banking in the go ahead runner with 13 seconds left. Gonzaga. Trying to eke out another victory at home, but they come up short on this three-point attempt. So LMU snapping Gonzaga's 75-game home winning streak. Historical performance by the Lions. Yeah, the kennel is as difficult as it gets to win a game on the road. Kent State went up to Gonzaga. They gave the Zags a heck of a game. FAU's got some intrigue. They've had an awesome year. Dusty May down there in Southern California. I would love to see more quote-unquote mid-majors have an opportunity to get in the tournament. You're starting to see more of that because of the transfer portal. These rosters really seem to be balanced as some of the depth that some of these Power 5 programs might enjoy. Those, these players are going to mid-majors to play now. Three to shoot. 
Here's Yap. He's got to keep an eye on the shot clock, and he's going to be able to draw the foul with one second left. So speaking of mid-majors, how about FAU? A very intriguing case study here. One of the more impressive records in all of college basketball. All these numbers really stand out until you get to that strength of schedule. I think they're a lock. I want them to be a lock. Yes, the strength of schedule, not great, but they have some good wins. Obviously, they have an impossible time trying to schedule every single year. But if you look at some of the great teams in their nets, if you're in the 20s, you know, the teams that have not made it since the net ranking has kind of quote unquote mattered, they've been in that high 30 mark. So I think they're a lock. You know, Loyola Chicago, they went, when they went to the Final Four a few years ago, if they didn't win the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, we would have never heard of Sister Jean. She would have never <laughs> became a national prize. No. And that's what's great. They got in, they made some noise. So I want to see almost an allocation of a maybe two or three spots for mid-majors because nobody wants to play those guys, especially on their home floor. A lot of times they have very experienced rosters, right, that have stuck together, that have built a culture like they're building here at San Diego State as Bradley muscles it to his left, the hoop and the harm. I mean, that is Matt Bradley's game. Get to that power hand, use that strength that he has. You see the shoulders there and score. And that was a called set play. A chance to maybe get their start going offensively. Bradley with seven points, steps to the free throw line and misses the three point opportunity. So the lead remains at four for San Diego State. Fresno State has gone five minutes without a field goal. So how do the Bulldogs generate some half-court offense with just nine minutes left here? Here's Hill, and another three can't find its target. Yeah, one of 18 now for Fresno State from deep. Which is just wild when you think about this game. If they shoot even just a marginal percentage, they probably have the lead as a nice finish by a uh -huh. uh -huh. That's the largest lead of the game for San Diego State. But Yap again getting to the free throw line. So right now the best offense for Fresno State is take the ball hard to the cup. Well, you, you can just see Justin Hudson's leaning on Yap here to make something happen on the offensive end because he's able to get a bit of an edge. See over five minutes, no field goals made. These are important free throws. Starting to stretch that lead for the Aztecs. The yeah. last 30 Mountain West road games. It's tough one in conference on the road. San Diego State 24 and 6. Mm -hmm. In fact, in true road games, they have the second best winning percentage in all of college basketball since 2019. It's 77.8%. Second to Gonzaga. Wow, I, I saw Brian Dutcher. We're staying at the same hotel. I'm not going to tell say his room, no, room number. I'm in 206. <laughs> That's who you've been charging all the cookies to. I, I, I'm in 206, <laughs> by the way. But I asked him what he was doing before the game. He goes, I was just sitting around thinking, every team we play, we normally get their best shot. Now, they've gotten Fresno State's best shot on the defensive end, maybe not so much on the offensive end. Right. Yeah, hits a pair, still makes it a two-possession game. Keep an eye on Aero. He's got four fouls. This crowd want, wants to get involved. They just haven't had much to cheer about. Mensa back in the game for San Diego State. So good to see him back on his feet after taking the hard spill. Here's Bradley. Catch, curl three. Oh, a big shot for Matt Bradley. Seven-point lead, the largest of the game for San Diego State. You feel like these next couple of possessions, critical for Fresno State. They want to stay in this one. Here's Andre, double team down low. Seven to shoot, Andre, no dribble, nice backdoor cut. Here's Hill, fouled, sent to the floor, and the bucket's good. A huge basket for Hill to stop the bleeding and a chance to go to the free throw line and put his team within four. College basketball on CBS Sports Network, presented by Orkane. We got a great one here in the Central Valley tonight.
Welcome back. San Diego State with a five-point lead over Fresno State. But Isaiah Hill will head to the free throw line for a free throw. Well, how about Bernard Thompson, forward for the Bulldogs? From 80 to 84, he was the school's first ever first-round NBA draft pick. Member of two NCAA tournament teams in 1981 and 1982, but also a member of that coveted 1983 NIT championship team. And Bernard Thompson, certainly one of the pioneers here at Fresno State. CBS Sports celebrates black history. It's limitless culture and undeniable impact. Happy Black History Month. Your Fresno State here, Tim. You have a chance here to cut it to a four-point game. Your half-court offense has been struggling, and it feels like anything they've had success with has been taking the basketball to the rim. Yeah, when you're one of 18 from three, maybe you got to shoot some more twos. Isaiah Hill has been really the force here in the second half. He's able to cut this to four after San Diego State had its largest lead of the game, seven. That was an important basket right there, Jordan. It's also the largest crowd of the season for Fresno State, just over 7,000 in attendance tonight. And so San Diego State, their three for their last three as Hill tries to poke at it. It's Butler trying to direct the offense, and this is a gift to Andre. Big fella galloping down the floor, and that is pinned by Mensa. Fresno State able to regain possession, though. Baker still looking for one. Andre fighting for it. Ripped away by Holland. Here's Andre. Kicks it back out to Hill. Holland, he'll try it from the corner. Gets it to go. Fresno State trying to melt the ice from outside. Now two of 20. They make it a one point game. Loudest the crowd has been in this second half. Bulldogs trying to knock off the top-ranked team in the Mountain West Conference. Three to shoot. Trammell has to put it up. Step back jumper. That's off. Batted around. Rebound Bulldogs. Here's Hill. Trying to navigate a pair of screens up top. You see the patience still on display in this half-court offense. Hill, step back, triple. Rolls out. Place would have exploded. Yeah, Andre had a chance for that offensive rebound right through those short hands we talked about in the first half. Five and a half left to play. Butler. Getting into the paint, too strong. Holland fighting for it off the leg of Butler. I thought that was just outstanding, outstanding defense from Holland. Butler had the edge there. He did a great job of going north and south, and then ball movement here. His teammates do it. They were more confident than I was because they had only made one three beforehand. And for Butler, bringing it down the floor, you see kicking the head to Bradley. Just the individual one-on-one -on -one defense. We've seen just on-ball defense. One of the fundamentals of basketball. It, both teams have really exhibited the ability to defend without fouling tonight. Fresno State trying to recapture the lead after trailing by as many as seven in this second half. Here's Baker pivoting, tries to feed it to Andre. That's a tough one to catch there. Oh, I like that post up by Baker. He's been struggling from the field to get him in the spot. I thought if he was able to turn left with his left hand, he had an angle there. I would be something if I was Justin Hudson. When buckets are at a premium like this, you get your best player and a chance to score in the post. Eight to shoot for Fresno State. Here's Baker, one-on-one -on -one against Seiko. Baker, fadeaway jumper, nothing but net. Bulldogs with the lead. 8-0 Fresno State run. Oh, 
Bradley trying to answer. Tough shot. Fighting for it. Colomario comes up with this. So a chance to build upon this lead. The Baker was forced to give Trammell his back, but he's got a size advantage there. I like that last possession in Fresno State. Now, not much going on. Maybe get it to number one in white. Right now, the offense has stalled a little bit with Andre catching it near midcourt. Now your big fella spinning and rolling left hand. Follow up no good by Colomario. He's trying to reach in. And Trammell, tough take, and we have our 12th lead change. Well, that was just a very unusual possession for Fresno State. You get the lead, you have the ball, now you get your center going one-on-one. -on -one. It was kind of an unusual play. It feels like more so than ever, that's where you really need to simmer down. And then a turnover by Andre. Bradley will slow it down and wait for the teammates to make their way down the floor. Just over three minutes left, San Diego State hanging on to a one-point lead. Ladie fouled on the drive into the paint. San Diego State has been the best team in the Mountain West since this conference was formed. The conference road games can be a challenge. They got their hands full tonight in Fresno. Let's revisit the AT&T 5G fast analysis here, Tim. Well, Matt Bradley has had an impact on this game on both sides of the floor. Over 2,000 points in his career. Big three-point play and then buried this big shot. Buckets, I repeat, buckets have been at a premium. His coach called this one a walking bucket. I know 10 points, you're gonna go, Tim, he only has 10 points, but that's Jordan, 25% of the points. I was gonna say, he's got 25% of their field goals <laughs> also at four of the team's 16 field goals. So, and you feel like with a three minute game remaining, one point lead, it's gonna come down to Bradley making some plays because this team defense we've seen for both sides, if you get stuck in the half court, it has been very difficult to break through and get easy looks. Easy looks has not been a theme in this game. Neither has three-point shooting for Fresno State. A two for 21 from three. That matches their lowest total makes in a game this year so far. They're two of 25 earlier this season. And Ladie hits the first of a bonus. One thing to keep an eye on, that was the fourth foul on Andre for Fresno State. They are keeping him in the game right now. Ladie splits a pair. So a two-point lead for San Diego State. Three minutes left to play. Yeah, I, the last couple of possessions have been poor for Fresno State. I would try to get Baker the ball, especially in the post. He cuts back door there, but I would go right back to him down low. Here's Hill trying to fight through some contact on the handoff. Hill trying to get the corner, nearly loses the rock. Pump fake and gets it to fall. Tied up, 43 apiece, two and a half minutes left. Seiko. Trying to get it over to Bradley. Here's Bradley with six on the shot clock. Bradley tries to go baseline, picks up the dribble. Tough shot with the left. Ladie there for the follow. Fouled on the attempt. And if this is Andre, this is his fifth, and he is gone. And yes, Eduardo Andre out of this ball game. Well, I thought Colomario's defense on his former high school teammate Bradley was great. He stayed on the floor. But then Andre, you see, got out of position and was looking to help, extended that arm onto Ladie's chest. Still out there, though, Jordan. Let's see. They're having a conversation right now, but you've got the sub, Yap, 
at the scorer's table. So they go with the 6'5 junior to replace the 6'11 senior. So Andre fouls out with 10 points, nine rebounds. Well, he tried to go Wolf of Wall Street there. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Stayed on the floor. No, I'm sorry, you will leave here five fouls. <laughs> Coming up next, join our Hoops experts in the studio as they highlight the latest hardwood clashes across the nation on inside college basketball, right here on CBS Sports Network. And they're not leaving either. No. Zucker, Harris, and a team the boys, no doubt about it. Got a pot of coffee in the back? A one-point lead right now for San Diego State. At halftime, Shelvin Mack was upset on San Diego State. Their lack of focus, they were getting out-rebounded. If he was upset at halftime, what is he now? Irate? And you're surprised because Shelvin normally a little bit more cool, calm, and collected. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Butler great. So here is Baker. Hasn't had much of a chance to get some looks the last few possessions. Under two minutes to go. Aztec still with this one point lead. Baker has a rope on him. He'll try the three. And skying for the rebound is Bradley. You know, his last bucket, Baker, he got into a sweet spot 10 to 12 feet. He gave Tremel his back. I would like to see a little bit more of that because he had success with it. Bradley, it looks like that got deflected off his knee. We'll see which way they whistle it. And yes, Fresno State ball. And they're going to take a look at this. You saw it from a mile away, partner. Let's see if I'm right for my one time per day. And looks like Hill might have poked that away. Uh, that's looking like the left knee. What do you see there, partner? Yeah, I mean, I, it's going to be tough to overturn the yep. call on the floor, which was Fresno State ball. And if Fresno State came into this game, I would say played their best basketball of the year. They've won two or three, but even they're lost to Nevada. They were down two in that game with four minutes left. Nevada has knocked off San Diego State on their home floor. So... They've done a great job of sticking to their defensive game plan. Problem is they just haven't made any shots on the offensive end. Here's one more look. Yeah, it's actually not a great angle. I thought that the, the, the first angle, you could really see it explode the ball off his left knee. It could possibly still be off Colomario. You see that left hand kind of goes across the body of Bradley to poke it away. But what's impressive about Fresno State is they're doing this without another one of their top scorers as we take one more look. Such a quick bang-bang play, though. That looks like it's off Bradley to me. But going back to Fresno State and these injuries, 11 of 13 scholarship players have missed a combined 78 games. They're also out with Isaiah Moore. Could be out indefinitely due to health and personal reasons. So the shorthanded Bulldogs trying to bite tonight against San Diego State, who leads the Mountain West just one game over both Boise State and Nevada. So huge implications as we take a look at Isaiah Moore. And the last ranked team to come into this arena walked away with an L. Yeah. So it'd be pretty crazy to have two ranked teams this year that you host, and you have an opportunity, obviously, tonight to win this game if you're Justin Hudson. That was the first time They've defeated a top 25 team in this building, 1-10, and 10, or sorry, 0-10 oh going into that game against yeah. New Mexico. And the first time they defeated a top 25 team since 2002. Well, that's when you were rocking out to NSYNC. That's yes, you I, no, I was more Usher back then. I did listen to some NSYNC, by the way. Yeah. I'm not a... I'm not bashful about that at all. You and I are you the were, same. You were Backstreet Boys, weren't you? I, I, you and I were the same <laughs> high school year, so they're going to stick to Fresno State basketball. Okay. So, so okay. what are the Bulldogs thinking on this offensive possession? Because it feels like they haven't been able to get a quality look in the last couple of trips down the floor. Yeah, I mean, what I would do was I would be I would try to run Hill with some ball screen opportunity. But I I, I liked when Baker was inside that 12 foot offensive zone when they're trying to post him up. I mean, buckets have been hard to get, and you know, Yap did a good job of breaking down defense. I wouldn't settle for a three when you've only made two of them all night. Two of 22 is Fresno State. Hill, the leading scorer, with 16 points, 6 of 15. But it's Baker 
who will get a chance. Baker, tough stuff back jumper. Volleyball alive right back into the hands of Baker. So Fresno State down one, one minute left. Yeah, I thought that was a good look, though. He got into that elbow area, and he was able to at least get a shot off. Here's Hill. Johnson defending up top. Hill getting into the lane, tries to dish it. Here's a three from Yap. Batted around still. Hill on the floor. Fresno State recovers. And a 30-second timeout called while Fresno State still has possession. So a one-possession game in the Central Valley. 20 to shoot for Fresno State trying to serve up the upset. Will a wild sequence Fresno State able to regain possession though still? Oh yeah, bodies everywhere as there's one deflection and Yap misses. And now there's another one. Three, four, five. They're diving on loose balls. If there was a play to sum up this game, that would be it. Relentless energy, great effort. Crowd's been awesome. Biggest crowd of the year. Fresno State, they have stayed in this one with their defense. Let's revisit the keys to this one. Obviously, a couple things rang true. Some others, not so much. Yeah, I mean, rebounds, uh, they have not won the glass. And that's why they're still right in the middle of this game. As for Fresno State, if they would have made some shots, they would have almost a comfortable lead. So getting to this possession, we've seen Fresno State milk the shot clock a few times. How important is it for them to make sure they don't leave San Diego State the ball and the shot clock off. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, you have an NBA mind like I do. College don't think like that. I would do a quick hitter and get a quick shot because then you get two possessions to one, but obviously that's not going to happen here. You see right now, Bulldogs taking their time. Eight to shoot. Here's Hill. Trying to go one-on-one -on -one against Johnson. Thought about the step back long. Two, three to shoot. Bounces off the front. Aztecs secure the rebound and quickly wrapped up. After securing the rock is Mensa. And so you work the shot clock and you settle for a long three in a night where you're two of 23 at that point. Yeah, I mean, see San Diego State. 43 games, they've scored more than 50. They're going to need overtime for that. But I think it's a missed opportunity by college teams. They don't think like that, but it's just pure math. They would have had a chance to get two shots versus one. And even if you take a quick hitter and it doesn't go in, now all of a sudden you can play good defense. I, I think it's a huge blown opportunity by college coaches, but nobody does it. Well, Mensa misses the first free throw, so they are potentially going to get the ball back and at worst have it be a two-point game. So Mensa, the 72% free throw shooter. One of three from the line tonight. Misses the ball. Ball loose. Fresno State comes up with it. Bulldogs with one timeout left. 15 to go. Holland back to Baker. Here is Baker. Came on the line. The three from Baker. And that has been the theme for the night for the Bulldogs. Now two of 25 from outside. Jamal Baker shoots 31% from three. He's being guarded by the Mountain West reigning defensive player of the year. And, you know, he settles in this spot instead of trying to get the big fella Mensa off balance and maybe create an opportunity. And now we're back to the free throw line. Here's Mensa. He missed the last two on his previous trip. Hits that one. So if this free throw goes in, giant if, he must foul. You don't even give Fresno State. I know they've only made two threes, but you don't give a chance to shoot a three. San Diego State with just five team fouls. They do have a foul to give. Mensa misses the second, and a quick timeout by Fresno State. That'll give them 2.7 on the clock. We'll step aside here. Bulldogs with one last possession to possibly tie or win the game. Fresno State trailing by two, 2.7 seconds left. No timeouts remaining for the Bulldogs, and they're going to have a lot of court to cover here with not that much time. Well, somewhere, Grant Hill could drop a play where he can make a baseball pass and 
but a, a little bit more time. So I'm always interested to see if Justin Hudson's going to make kind of that Grand Hill football-like throw, or do you give it to someone on the run? I think it's safer because when you throw a basketball like a football, so often, Jordan, that ball all of a sudden starts curving on you, and it's hard to because you just don't make passes like that late in the floor. So I'm interested to see if he goes with kind of more of a chess pass and leads someone up the court. That's usually conventional wisdom. They did add some more time on the clock, so 3.3 seconds left, which to your point, plenty of time to catch it near half court, get a couple dribbles in before you get a shot up. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be number three. It's going to be Isaiah Hill with getting the basketball here. If you're Justin Hudson, if you're San Diego State and Brian Dutcher, you want a foul. You see the five fouls there. So you got one to give, and I think that's what Justin Hudson's going to tell his team, that be aware of this foul. Now, you're an NBA guy. I think we've seen before Draymond Green once in a situation like this. Tried to shoot the near half-court three when he knew the other team was going to try and foul him. But I don't think you try to put the game in the official's hands like that. Yeah, I mean, one thing I do like at the next level, that they do advance the ball. I think it creates more scoring, more opportunity versus trying to go full length of the court. I'm for more points, more scoring. We haven't seen a lot of that tonight with only 88 total points. But if you're Brian Dutcher, you want to take a foul. And if you're Fresno State, you have no more timeouts. So that's why you definitely foul, because now you have a bunch of college kids trying to figure it out on the fly without drawing up a play. I imagine you have to be careful if you're trying to foul on the catch that you don't foul before play starts as well, too, because that could be a big mistake. Because then you give it the opportunity for Fresno State to possibly advance it near midcourt without that much time coming off the clock. So you see San Diego State has won seven straight games versus Fresno State. The Aztecs currently one game ahead of both Boise State and Nevada in the Mountain West Conference standings. Fresno State, their last matchup at home against the top 25 team, beat Ben 14-0 in LV. Correction, New Mexico earlier this season. Yap to inbound, gets it ahead, and the quick foul right there. Hill, they don't whistle anything. Hill for the game! And Fresno State off the back heel, just a little too strong. They let them play through that possession, Tim. All right, that was the theme of the night. They, they let both these teams be physical. That was clearly they were trying to take a foul at San Diego State. Brian Dutcher, I think he's got a few more gray hairs there. This was a white knuckler. <laughs> As you see, you know, you're trying to take the foul. You're riding him right there. And now and no foul on the shot. Great job by Butler not fouling. And then realizing, like, all right, this is how it's going to go down. Kind of poetic justice as Fresno State took 25 three-point shots. Jordan, they only made two. So it matches the worst three-point shooting night of the season for Fresno State. Your updated standings, a crucial win for San Diego State. You will take any road win you can get. Fresno State will fall to 5-9 in conference play, 9-16 on the season. But you called it coming in that it was going to be a very close game. So San Diego State getting the win tonight for Tim Doyle and our entire crew. I'm Jordan Kent. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. We now send you back to Adam and the gang in our New York studio for Inside College Basketball. Good night from the Central Valley.